First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody, but I would also like to introduce, to start off our ceremonies here at Thurgood Marshall School, Dr. Robert Willis, the superintendent of the Rockford Public School District. Well, let me tell you what a pleasure it is to be here and to see so many parents actively engaged in the lives of their children. You know, this business about educating children is, is really pretty fundamental. It's pretty simple. It's an adult caring about a child and what their future becomes. It's really a simple equation, a relationship between an adult and a child. That is the core of both Montessori and gifted education in Rockford Public Schools. We need to share that relationship concept with every single child in this community. Every child. Even the ones that are hard to reach. They need that relationship. They need what you're giving your children every day over that dinner table, every night when you help them with their homework. A lot of kids miss that. You take it for granted because it was probably given to you by your family. That expectation, that commitment, that dedication, that selfishness behavior on the part of your parents who gave up many things so that you could have a benefit in your lives. That's the potential of making Rockford great. If we can spread that selflessness throughout our community. Sue Haney Bauer, when I first met her, I knew she was an all-star. And she talked to me about the many attempts she had made to expand the Montessori program. And I thought to myself, what, what's, what's wrong that we can't expand a program that works? Our gifted program, we don't have enough room for all the kids who need to be in our program. So what's wrong with making the program bigger? We need to do more of what we do well. And here we are today. Here we are today. Thanks to people like Ken Scrivano, our, one of our school board members. Thanks to people like Tim Rollins, one of our school board members who was able to squeeze in here today. He was, he was trying to make it. He might have got hung up in traffic. But, but thanks to those board members who said yes uh, as Martha Hayes worked her magic with her team to make this work. I'm proud to be here today. Here's Martha Hayes. It's an honor to be here and it is so gratifying to see all of you here. I look at Thurgood Marshall School as the culmination of a vision that so many community members had. Please let our children have a Montessori experience. Please let some more of our kids have that gifted experience. And Dr. Willis listened, the board listened, and some of us were entrusted with the job of making it happen. Um, we couldn't have done it without your support. I particularly couldn't have envisioned this without Michelle Beach, without Jill Faber, without Sue Haney Bauer, without Kelly Monson, without Susan Fumo, and all the teachers who put up with moving one more time. So, my is off to each and every one of them and to all the parents who came over here because every time I've visited there have been parents in this hall working diligently so thank each and every one of you and now I'm going to turn it over to Michelle Beach the director of our gifted program thank you uh, the beginning of a new school year is 
always my very, very favorite time of year. And this year it's even more exciting. And I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for this district and its commitment to meeting the needs of all students. Uh, the motto for our gifted program this year as we move forward is dreaming, learning, and doing. And when I look at Thurgood Marshall School and its, its um, namesake Thurgood Marshall, I think how perfect, what a dreamer, that the grandson of a slave should rise to serve on the Supreme Court of our country. That's the kinds of dreams that we want our children to have, and we want to help nurture them and support them as they fulfill their dreams. As a learner, Thurgood Marshall uh, could not attend the law school of his choice because it was segregated. Ended up attending Howard University where he finished first in his class. And as a doer, he fought tirelessly throughout his career for gender and racial equality, uh, he served on the Supreme Court until he was 82 years old and was quoted saying, if I die, prop me up and just keep on voting. <laughs> so I am excited to be part of this new school year, part of this new school, and I know that all of the staff in this school will do everything that they can to help our students as they dream learn and go on in their lives to do fantastic things. I'd now like to um, introduce another one of our administrators, Susan Erickson, who is the principal at the Montessori program at Haight Elementary School and will be helping us with all of our students here in the Montessori program at Marshall. Thank you and welcome to Marshall School and thank you for coming to this very special occasion. This has been a long time coming, um, 16 years ago when we left um, Lathrop School as a wing, a Montessori wing, we have been dreaming and had visions of expanding to middle school and also to expanding the entire program to allow more of our community members an opportunity to um, be in a Montessori school, our wait list is still extensive, so we're really, really happy to see that we are adding more community members to our building. Um, I can't think of a better person to lead our, our Marshall School than Jill Faber. So with that, first of all, I, I should thank again um, the board members and the cabinet, especially Mar Martha Hayes, um, Todd Schmidt for his, his um, Tireless, tireless <laughs> efforts to get our building ready. Um, so many people to thank. Thanking um, our parents, thanking our teachers for going above and beyond and the sacrifices they've made to make this a reality. Um, I can't thank everybody enough, and I'm so excited for the new year and our new our new expansion. And what better group to be sharing it with than our gifted community? So, with that, I would like to introduce Joe Faber, the principal of Marshall School. Uh, first of all, I'll use the right intercom here. I'm very excited because as I look out, what I'm looking at right here, and I don't know all of you, but the one thing I do know is you are now part of my family. So I want to thank you for joining. Uh, Martha and Dr. Willis and Mrs. Beach and Mrs. Erickson, I was going to say everything they were going to say. <laughs> so I'm just going to say ditto. But one of the things I would like to do, I would definitely like to thank Dr. Willis and Mrs. Hayes and Dr. Jarrett and, and Mr. Vosberg and Mr. Schmidt um, because with I and our some of our board members because without without them like was stated before our vision of bringing two very very successful programs in the Rockford School District together probably couldn't have happened I want to thank the teachers on both sides I know I've been here all summer and I know you guys have worked all summer I want to thank you for believing me when I said it is going to happen because as I made many many phone calls that's what they said to me so I just repeated it and as we as we look at the building today yes we do have a we do have a few more things to do but we have come for any of you that have been here we have come very far I'm very excited I feel like I'm kind of coming home I was a teacher here in this building for many 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 years and so I feel like I'm coming home and Mrs. Miller I bestowed upon her my room that many great things are going to happen there many great things are going to happen at Marshall and I kind of feel like we're a little bit of a living document and a living you know 
we, we're going to come across challenges. And because of the people whom we are and the staff we have and the families we have, we are going to take on those challenges and we are going to triumph. I want to, I would like to also say, thank Sue Erickson and Sue Haney Bauer. Without those two ladies all summer long meeting every week, okay, Tuesday at 2, Tuesday at 1, you know, we met all summer long um, going over all of the little differences in our building and, and doing what we could to bring them together to make it work. I would especially like to thank the, the PTOs and the, uh, of both buildings. They have, they have truly come together as a family. Every, everything we have done, they have worked together, um, both of them together. We, we share many families. We all have the same thing in common. Every family that in this building wants the same thing. Just like every family in the school district, we want what's best for your children. And, and you all work very, very hard. And you make, you make my job a pleasure, and you make my job a lot easier. And I want to thank I cannot thank you enough for everything that you guys do. I would like to thank the trades. I would like to thank the GCA workers. I would like to thank the secretaries. We could not have done it without them. I've never asked anybody, and every time I ask them with a smile, I'll do that right now. I mean, never, never, a, never rolling of the eyes, just always, I'll do that right now. What can I do to help you? And without that, that is the attitude that you want in your family. And I'm so thankful to have the, those, uh, those people in my family. And once again, I would just like to thank you very much for, for coming here together with us and joining us in, in a true celebration of two programs that are going to be very successful. I would like to invite you to, for, for a light lunch. Um, and I would also like to invite you to tour the building today. We have maps on both sides. We have a pod A and pod B. This is the library pod and over here, and this is going to be the auditorium or a Montessori pod. So I'd like you to, to feel free to walk the building and look at all the progress we have made with the support of, of many, many, many people. Thank you very much for coming and have a wonderful day. And, and now for the ribbon cutting. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we almost forgot the most important thing. Uh, Mrs. Hayes and Mrs. Erickson. If you, okay. Here's Dr. Willis and Mr. Earl, We're gonna have Earl some. Our Earl and Matt. Our Earl and Matt. Matt. Aaron. Todd. Any other board members or central office? And, I, and we have a, a bunch of students we're going to have today here. Yeah. yeah, we're going to be in front of the podium. In front of the podium. In front. Yep. In front? Yep. In front, in front, in front. See, I will perfectly do this job. Yeah, this is going to be like this. <laughs> yeah. Look at the purple. Other side. We're going to switch it here. Okay, I need Susan over here. I need Martha. Are those real? Yeah, try it. Look out! Oh, wait, wait, Martha, wait. I'm gonna turn around. Face the camera. Oh, face the camera. Yeah, okay. Martha, turn around. Look at Dr. Willis. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody got their pictures? Oops. <laughs> Let's watch that scissor. Okay, go. All right, now, Jill, do the real thing right there next to One, two, yay! <laughs> Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I am just here.